Hi everyone, welcome to Elementary Math with Mr. Scott. And today we're going to hit some things that uh, tend to be an issue in the classroom for me. And we're talking about addition today, adding, just plain old adding. But, but believe it or not, there are quite a few things that kids tend to, to do to uh, get incorrect answers, to, to make a mistake, to mess up. And we're going to tackle those head on today to try to eliminate those. So let's go ahead and jump into our, uh, our day here, our addition rules. Um, we're going to look at here. I'm going to go ahead and make this three because we add one for subtraction. So in addition, we have three rules. And these, again, are based on the most common mistakes that I see uh, in the elementary classroom when it comes to math, okay? A number one rule is you must stack the numbers. I mean, that, that may just seem like common sense to you and to me and to many of us, but believe it or not, I have lots of kids that will try to add this way okay and you know they, they're trying to work it out in their head they're trying to do this they're trying to do that with it and they they usually make mistakes and it's an issue and the problem is is that you can't add very effectively that way and some people can't do it at all you know some people might be good enough with numbers in their head to be able to do that in their head and finagle it out in their between uh, their brain somehow, but for the average person and for most kids, they can't do that. So we must stack those numbers. So what does that mean? Well, that means that I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to do that five, six, seven, and then I'm going to stack it with that seven, eight, nine. Do you see that? I need to stack those numbers so that I have a chance to actually add them correctly. Okay. And um, we're going to go ahead and underline it. And again, this is how the problem should look, um, not this, okay? So that's the number one mistake that kids make, okay? Number two mistake that I see over and over again uh, with addition is this right here. So if I'm taking, uh, well, let me just go ahead and write it out. You must line the numbers up by um, place, okay? And again, uh, this happens quite regularly. I'll have, let's say, 367 plus 45. And you will see kids do this over and over again. Um, I'm seeing it again now with kids uh, in my classroom. You'll see that they will add uh, this way. I don't know why where they weren't taught this way, but we have to remember that the ones place has to be lined up with the ones place. And again, this is what they'll add. Seven is nothing, six plus one. And they'll, they'll add correctly, but the numbers are in the wrong place. So again, this is very common, very... Um, <laughs> Well, things you just got to really watch out for, okay? And then rule number three, as we uh, continue on here, is, again, this is another one of those things that not all kids do, but you do have quite a few of them. You must make sure your columns are lined up, okay? Okay. And again, what happens here, and again, it's a little harder to show with, um, with using the computer here, but I'll kind of give, I'll just freehand it here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we're adding 245, right? And then they'll add, let's say, 327. Okay, so they'll go 327. And then they'll add them up like this, right? And they'll go, uh, they'll go ahead, 5 plus 7 is, you know, 12, carry the 1, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6, 37, carry the 3, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's how they'll add that. 
Why? What mistake are they making? Well, the, what they're doing is they're not lining their numbers up. Okay. And again, this is very common and kids will make silly, silly dumb errors doing that uh, because they don't have their columns lined up. So that is why I came up with the three rules of addition. Uh, before we start any of our addition units in my classroom, we talk about these things. And sometimes kids just forget, you know, when they come into the classroom and it's been the summer and they just forget things. You need to review these things. You need to review these rules. I must always stack the numbers when I'm adding, okay? I need to make sure that I lined up the numbers in the correct place. So in this case, I can't do uh, this, right? I need to move that 4 and the 5 over so now it matches up there, right? Those are, and then again, making sure that our columns are always straight so that we're not uh, making mistakes. Again, the columns comes down to just laziness, sloppiness, not taking the time to really do a good job, okay? Well, those are the three rules of addition. We're going to go ahead and in the next video we'll talk about you know, how we add and, um, and, and how to do that and how to, you know, carry our numbers over and stuff. But right now, I just wanted to go over quickly the three rules of addition. I hope you guys have a great day and take care.